Smooth and cinematic drone shots don't happen by luck. They happen in the game and expo menu. In just a few minutes, I will show you how to unlock cinema-like movements from your DJI Mini 5 Pro. From the flight screen, tap the three dots, move to the control tab and then scroll down. That's where you will find the gain and expo settings. Cine, normal or sport mode. You can customize each mode individually to perfectly match your flying style. So here's how to set them up. Let's start with Cine mode. The first three don't need any explanation. These just tell you how fast the drone can fly and how fast it will rise or descend. And for all of the three different modes, I keep them under a default setting. The first very important setting here is the max angular velocity or yaw speed, which is the left stick. With this setting, you can achieve smooth pan movements from left to right. A good rule of thumb is that you don't want to pull your sticks all the way to the end. Slight inputs on the controller will always lead to better results and beautiful drone shots. So always keep your stick inputs slow and controlled, instead of pulling them all the way to the end. It's always important to combine a smooth stick input with the right value of all the settings we will walk through. As you see, a high value here means that you are working with very harsh and sensitive movements from left to right. This is something that you want to avoid, so I would recommend to leave it on about 24 degrees per second to get smooth and cinematic pan movements. Next up, the yaw smoothness. This controls how fast the drone stops when you let go of the left stick. A low number means an abrupt ending or no smoothness at all. And increasing the yaw smoothness gradually eases out your stop motion when you let go of the left stick. With a high number, it would take ages to finally stop your movement. So to achieve a good balance and natural results, I would stay at around 21 for the yaw smoothness. Now the expo settings, these are very important. These settings affect how much stick movement you need to put in versus how much movement you get on the drone itself. With lower expo values the curve is flat. This means your drone won't start turning immediately as you move a stick to the left or to the right. But if you have set them on high, your curve is linear and your drone reacts instantly and immediately catches the signal for movement as soon as you push your stick to the left or to the right. So lower expo values will result in smoother movements. That's why I keep mine on the lower end on about 0 0.18, 0 0.2 and 0 0.23. The Gimbal Max control speed. For me, this is the most important one. This affects how fast your gimbal is pitching up and down when you turn the wheel on the back side of the controller. A high number means an extreme tilt motion. Please avoid everything above 10 to 15 degree. Otherwise, it looks like your gimbal is broken, which is everything else than cinematic or smooth. I set it to about 8 or 9 degree per second and this is the perfect value to get cinematic tilt up or tilt down movements. Now the tilt smoothness. If 
you turn a gimbal wheel and release it, this setting will change how abrupt or smooth the tilt movement gets stopped. A higher value takes ages to smoothen it out as you release the finger of the wheel. In this case, a lower number is better, since it eases out the stop motion naturally. So 14 or 15 is a good point to get started with the tilt smoothness. Now the gimbal roll settings. The first setting affects the gimbal roll speed when you rotate the right gimbal wheel. I keep it on about 10 degree per second to get smooth roll shots. The roll smoothness is similar to the tilt smoothness. This setting again tells you how fast or how smooth your roll motion gets stopped when you release your finger of the wheel. A lower value means a beautiful ease out motion, while a high value again takes a lot more time till it stops the action. For me, 9 for the roll smoothness works great. Please consider that all these settings work perfectly for me and my style of flying. So play around with all these settings to see what works best for you. So now you know how to capture smooth and cinematic drone shots. If you actually want to master this drone and release its full potential, watch this video next. Thanks for watching.